doing today? Good. Good. Parents lining up at Troop B and Kenner. Right there, okay? So to make right sure their car seats like are loaded. installed correctly Wednesday. You don't strap your child in correctly, and God forbid something happens, I, I think you can't get over that. This is our big baby. <laughs> State police say starting Thursday, you need to be at least 13 years old to ride up front. Buckle. They say from birth to two years old, the child needs to be in a rear-facing safety seat. Two to four years old, they need to be in a forward-facing child car seat. State police say if your child is between four and nine, you could need to be in a booster seat. Does your feet touch the ground? No. Maybe she's just not tall enough. Mary Newchurch had to find her booster seat for her granddaughter. Because of the new law, I have to keep make sure that the booster seat's in the car for And I'm not too, you know, we got used to it, you know. And we, so we had to go dig it out and put it back in the car. But state police say there is a five-step test where your child would not need the booster if they pass. Part of the test requires the child to be able to sit all the way back and have their knees bending over the seat while their feet are on the floor. Once they become two years old. Police stress the changes and seat depends on the weight and height of your child by the manufacturing company labels on the seat. Children are the only innocent victim there is in the world, meaning they don't have a chance to make any decisions like that. We urge parents to educate themselves.